how to migrate principal file into e office for starting the session before starting this session we have to keep some important points in our mind while we are working migration of the file first of all we have to migrate uh, scan the file in proper format uh, that means the correspondence part and noting part will be separate each one reference part will be separate if the uh, file is uh, file have some kind of reference or issue all of these parts are um, scanned in separate folder and the scanning of the data is called the digitization process the digitization, pro digitization process that means we are going to keep the record of all our physical file we have to scan the uh, all the physical file and by the folder wise that means uh, noting part will be placed in the noting part and correspondence part will be placed in our correspondence part apart from that if we have any kind of dispatch or reference document these documents will be scanned and keep in a separate folder this is the process of scanning the scanning process is called the digitization and we have to keep our should be copy in our external hard drive as well for archiving of these files uh, we have to keep some uh, important point while we are scanning the correspondence part or physical file we have to select the property of scanner as OCR. OCR means we can easily search any kind of word or document or sentence from the PDF by selecting the property of OCR, optical character recognition. That means we are going to scan the PDF in searchable format. And apart from that, the scanned document should be placed with the file number. That, that means file has the correspondence noting part, all the documents should be separated and keep in our respective folder correspondence part should be placed in correspondence part and noting part will be placed in corresponding part and if you have any kind of reference document like by the issue or some additional reference document pertaining to the file we have should also keep in the, those document in separate folder mm, let's take example if we are going to migrate the files of the admission admission admin admin section we have to First, we need to create the folder on our FTP. Why the FTP is important in the subject of migration of the file? Actually, we are going to upload uh, by the browse and diary section up to 20 MB document. And uh, by browsing and diarying the document 20 uh, document up to 20 MB, we can keep this document in the reference part. We are not keep in, we are not able to keep those document in our noting part that's why we have to scan the old file and we have follow the file structure to keep our file integrity and the content separately uh, for the same we have to create the folder on the ftp server ftp server provide the facility uh, which document have the size of more than 20 mb and the file format as it it is in physical format that's why we need to uh, the help of the ftp server while migration of the physical file uh, first of all we have to activate the ftp server link by the application development application admin team uh, after they provide their facility or provide the access to the ftp server we, uh, over there we have to create the folder uh, in the folder we have to upload the scanned document as we keep in the separate folder wise all the physical document of a file after that uh, after the creation of the uh, folder on the ftp server we have to browse the same folder from our e office application after browsing the application the folder wise we have to provide the access to the user uh, who is going to migrate those files into e office we can also uh, provide the access uh, the same user to the different folder as per the requirement of the department now, so on the basis of the migration file let's do the demonstrate or uh, how we can migrate the files into e office step by step first of all we need to create the folder on the ftp server after that 
the migrate file uh, we have to log in our office and from the office log portal page we have to choose the option of the migration file this one is in the older version that means the, if the office is running on the 6 version or for the same we have the provision over there in the 7 version and <coughs> above we have to select the migrate file after that create new and create it these are the user and option but in the older version we have uh, i have pro, uh, the power of the local admin that's why uh, i have the more um, option over visible over there for the providing the access or privilege to the selected folder from the ftp we have to click on the folder permission over there the folder which are created on the ftp server will be list up there we have to select the draw uh, user from the drop down list department name section name uh, to whom we are going to be create uh, provide the access likewise similarly admin section and uh, select the user after selecting the user we have to select the folder of which we are going to provide the access of the particular user suppose for the admin section we are going to provide the access of this user Similar way, if we can provide the access of the different folder of two different users, or we can also provide the uh, all the folder access to a particular user, depending on the uh, requirement. Okay, after click on the save button, the user have privilege or access of the particular folder. And from the backend or by using the FTP server, we have to upload a single file on the FTP server after that the uploaded document can be accessed by using this option. Let's create how we select or process the migration of the file. Just after um, providing the access, user have to click select the create new option. After clicking the option, the file cover page will be appear there. We have to um, select the file number by using the appropriate head over there. This kind of information by likewise we depending on the nature and the subject of the file we have to select the appropriate file head from the drop down list this one is the basic and this one is primary and this one is secondary okay just by clicking on the browse option we have to access the uploaded document in our ftp server this, this one is the file while we are going to upload the file on the ftp server fl dash after that the file number this format should be followed and fl dash is mandatory to uh, to append with the file number this one is the mandatory in we are going to migrate the file by using the ftp server click on the file after that import uh, the document or the postponed further noting part which are lying in the file number has been displayed by clicking on the import after click over import after that there are two options these two options are visible from the FTP server. While we create the folder, after that we have create a subfolder by naming the correspondence part and by naming the noting part. We have to upload the document correspondence to the correspondence part and noting part to the noting part. We have just write down over there C and D N. C stands for correspondence and for stands for noting. We can also define over there complete name or by initial alphabet. As I mentioned, if the file have the different kind of nature of the document, we have to upload it by the folder wise. Click on the C option. The document which are lying in our C um, folder on the FTP server can be accessed. By clicking on the nature of the document, we have to select uh, this one is the correspondence part, this one is the correspondence part. Okay. And I select the, the correspondence part have the document as a nature of the reference. That these are the supporting document which uh, we have scanned uh, on the, and upload on the FTP server. Click on the reference button after the selected drop down button. This selected document will be moved to the our destination window. This one is the source window. This one is our destination window. Source window. Actually, this uh, is the view of our FTP server over there. We have uploaded the document. This one is the destination window. By using that in the window, we are going to import the file, uh, physical file into the e office. After that, a receipt. Click on the receipt, and this one is the part of the receipt. Okay, just by clicking on the drop down button, this one is also 
move to the our destination window after that issue this one is the document of the issue if i am taking the example we to elaborate all the option this one is the issue after that we have to click on the move to the noting part to our note window select the document click on the note after we can also verify all the document these document are properly aligned that means this are the received which i have selected this one is the issue this one is the reference this is the simple process over there we can also check the old file number fl dash gg again this one the fl dash will not appear in our source window this will appear by clicking on the verify button this is a simple process after click on the select it it will move to the destination window after click on the ver uh, verify detail this one is the noting part this one is the receipt part this one is the issue this one is the reference document okay it's very simple now the further it's the simple as we have already processed how to create a file uh, election file in our office the rest of steps will be same let's take a uh, tour description over there we have to write the sub, uh, subject of the type uh, file subject means testing okay after that select the category nature that select in category means the nature of the file in the general and after that the opening date opening date it's very important to keep in mind while we are migrating the physical file into your office opening date should be fetch from the first date and time from the noting part suppose the file have the first noting and date on the 2014 and uh, select the appropriate date after that remarks the remarks if we are go, our physical number and the electronic number will be going to be different we have also mentioned over there in the previous re reference in the previous reference if i click on the file uh, work on file later that means the file has been moved to uh, my draft folder if i click on the continue working that means the uh, electronics your file number has been allocated and the file will be moved to the completed folder in the future i can get the file from the completed folder and whenever it need to take the necessary action or we, we are need to forward uh, the file to our appropriate authority uh, i can easily from the completed folder this one is the simple process how we can process or how we can migrate the physical file into the eops Okay thanks for watching i hope you liked it uh, please subscribe and share this video to your colleagues so that they can improve or learn how to migrate the physical file into the e office